everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Gitty Mary and today I am not ready because we are gonna get ready together. At least I'm going to get ready now and do my casual, normal, everyday beauty routine. Do all my makeup, do my hair, put on some clothes, just do something and you can do it with me if you want to. So uh, that's what we're gonna do today but I thought I would also take this time because we are nearing the end of the year to talk about some of my all-time favorite beauty and skincare products and general just self-care products. Things that I've used throughout the year that I love and just want to give a great shout out and what better way of starting that kind of video out by having one of my favorite brands sponsor this video. Okay, this video is sponsored by Wild. I have known about, tried out, used, loved and partnered up with Wild before and they have been one of my favorite brands for years. So when they asked me recently if I wanted to try some of their new scents, I was absolutely on board. And there are a few reasons as to why I love Wild. First of all, they have eliminated aluminium, parabens and throwaway plastic from their products, which first of all I think is fantastic. It means that the products are not only better for the planet, but they are also better for you. The aluminium deodorant packaging is meant to last a lifetime and then you refill it with your deodorant. And the refill packaging is made from pulp, which means it's super easy to compost in your own composting system. You don't have to keep buying new packaging. That also takes up a lot of space in your bathroom. You have this one thing, I love it. Also, Wild was so kind as to put my initials on my little packaging, which is honestly such a cool Christmas gift idea, just putting that out there. I also have a discount code for Wild, so next time you shop at Wild, you can use the code GITAMARY20 to get 20% off. Right now, I'm using the scent Ocean Mist, and this is addictive. So you feel fresh, you feel nice, you feel comfortable. Now, starting on the actual face routine, the first thing I have done for the past several years is using a naked and thriving Oil. I've used several of their face oils. I really like the Revive one because I feel like that's just what I need in the morning. This is the Prevent one and I'm actually almost out which I think is tragic. I put a couple of dots on my clean hands, just wash them, use it on my face, just let it sit there for a while. I've always dealt like with small breakouts here and there. Haven't had a breakout in months. I'm in a good stream and I'm not eating well at all right now so I don't know what I'm doing but I'm trying to be better with my skincare. Now I just praised myself for being good with skincare, but now I'm gonna use something that's definitely too old, but I don't care. I'm using it anyway. I haven't broken out, we're fine. So I have these Lush <laughs> concealers. They have to be a favorite of mine because this is the concealer that I have used every single day for three years. One of them is three years old, don't judge me. And another one is two years old, I think. There we are. Look at that. I don't know what to tell you. These are usually long cones, but I only have like the base of it left. I just use it under my eyes, a little bit on my eyes, on my chin, uh, sometimes a little bit on the side of the nose and in the middle of my eyebrows. I look so cool. Then we're just gonna smooth things out a little bit. Sometimes I skip this step, but honestly for winter, I think having a little bit more coverage on my on my face where I can also put a little bit more bronzer, a little bit more blush. I look less dead. So this is what I do. But I have had days recently where I've just put on my mascara and called it a day. That's also okay. It's also okay to wear no makeup at all. Getting up and doing something, like having these things that you do, like taking time out of your day to make yourself look nice for yourself and make yourself feel better is a ritual that I really, really enjoy. And honestly, I enjoy it even more when I have people in my comments saying, I like my women natural. <laughs> I'm generalizing now, painting with a very wide brush. Um, but I have had so many men comment that they love natural women with no makeup and then showed me pictures of women wearing so much makeup, but specifically not wearing eyeliner and red lipstick. But that's it, wearing tons of makeup. Like, you're not even kidding. So I don't think they actually know what without makeup even means. Uh, the next product I'm going to sort of recommend, I love so much that I don't have any more of it at all. It's the Sao Compact Face Powder. And I have hit pan so thoroughly that there is just nothing left. But this is what it's supposed to look like. 70% of all beauty products go into landfill unfinished. But I'm using the container still because this is a really nice container with a little magnetic lid. It's really good. And from Sao, I also have a loose face powder. I don't like loose face powders as much as the compact ones. They're just easier to handle, I think. Um, but I use the compact face powder packaging and then I pour in 
my loose face powder and then I have it here. Now, will you look at that? I wouldn't dream of throwing a container like this away at any point in time, I think. Also, I still like to dabble in making my own beauty products, so containers like this is super handy. Never a reason to throw it away, especially if you're gonna use loose face powders anyway. My skin tone becomes very bluish, reddish during the winter and I feel see-through, I feel like a ghost. I don't like it. So this is just putting a little bit warmth into my cheek. But to do that even further, we're also using the Sao bronzer. Now this is also a favorite. I like it because it's incredibly pigmented and I might be using too much of this. I don't know. I'm not asking for opinions or takes or feedback, by the way. I'm just doing my own thing in an unhinged way, asking the world to be my audience. Yeehaw. And I'm also going to use the Elate blush. This is also a favorite. This combination, the compact powder and the bronzer from Sao and the blush from Elate. Amazing. Oh, do you want to know the names? The blush name is Titian. The Sao bronzer, I cannot tell you, um, but it's nice. We're not going to go overboard with blush, just like that. Next up, we have eyebrows. So zooming in a little bit. Now they are pretty full. They're pretty dark. That's natural. That's my dad. Just boop, boop. But often I feel like right here they are not as full or like they become a little bit thin so i have a little bit of an eyebrow pencil and i really like this it's void of plastic this little plastic cap was something i had lying around from a previous product it didn't come with this one which i really really like it's from vetchup and they have quite a big variety of products that are minimally packaged and i'm just gonna give it like a few strokes around the eyebrows here there we go we're just gonna brush her now, now she looks crazy without her mascara. I'm just gonna keep you zoomed in because I feel like that's way easier. One thing that I have gravitated away from during my zero waste journey is the solid mascaras. It's the solid mascaras that you apply with this little wand. Um, I just don't have the time anymore, eight years going, to do that. I don't want to do that anymore. It's that kind of inconvenience where when I woke up in the morning, I didn't want to put on any of my makeup because I knew I had to do that part and I didn't want to do that part. It was just, it's one of those tiny things that like in the big picture is not an inconvenience per se, like the biggest first world problem I've ever heard in my life, but it made me dread getting ready. So I changed it. And so now I'm using a mascara from Anna Marie Bolin. The formula is great, they don't test on animals, it's cruelty free. And I've done all the other things to make sure that it's as nice as it can be. That's what we're doing. I am actually getting some coverage, some length, some volume. It's not an eyebrow, it's not an eyelid, it's an eye hair. What the f Lashes, wow. I have short, small, pissy little eyelashes, so I definitely want just something to happen. Can you see the difference? And I feel like a lot of the zero waste options don't really do this for you. Now another favorite. I thought I was done with sort of like the skin part, but we're not done with the skin part. I have this old thing. I have talked about this palette so many times, but I think it's amazing and I think it's brilliant. So we're gonna talk about it again, especially if we're doing like an all stars, favorite of the year, we have to do this. This is the Elate palette and it's magnetic. So you can take whatever small products you have and put it into it and make your own palette with things that you use constantly. Because when you buy palettes, you often have a few things you hit pan on and then you have tons of things that you're never gonna use ever. Because you didn't have any agency as to what, what made it into your palette. You just bought it for the overall vibe. So this is all things that I use often clearly i just put in these two once a couple of months ago so we're still getting our way through this but all this other shit i use constantly and all the time highlighter and like a highlighter but like with a bronzy feel and i use the last ones to mix up a lipstick because you don't need a million different shades you mix so to apply my highlighter i'm just gonna put some on my finger and i'm gonna apply it to my cheekbones and the tip on the bridge of my nose. I really, really like this. I think it's doing something of a difference. I did do this once though, and then I met up with a lot of friends, and one of my friends told me that it looked like a bird had shat on my face. I was very confused because I didn't remember that happening, and then I look myself in the mirror, I just go, where? And then he points at my highlight and just goes, there, the white there. Does this look like poop? I don't, I, I, I was speechless. Normally I would mix my own little lipstick, but we're not gonna do that today. 
I'm gonna show you another favorite. Actually, I'm gonna show you two favorites. So first of all, we have a lip liner. This is also from Anna Marie Berlin, and it's just a normal lip liner, but there's a little brush at the other end, which is quite handy. I've recently started to respect the drip of outlining your lips before lipstick. It makes them last so much longer, so that's what we're gonna do still. Yeah, cowboy. A few last favorites are the lipsticks from Beauty Made Easy. This is their Le Papier lipsticks and uh, it's named that because that's literally what's happening. They come in paper. No plastic packaging, but a lipstick that you can bring in your bag so you don't need to bring like your brush and your little palette. You can just... Really, really nice. As you can see, I have used these quite a lot. They've had kind of a rough life, but that's because I love them. So I'm gonna use the little pink shade here. Okay, yeah. This is her look, but we need to do something about this hair. Because it's been a rough four days since I last washed my hair. Don't judge me, that's the way I am running things. But to sort of mask the last day before I wash my hair, I just do like a slick little ponytail, a bun, uh, and just use the natural grease in my hair instead of product. So whenever you see me with a slick hair do of any kind, just know it's because I didn't wash my hair and I'm about to. So we're just gonna do like a nice little bun here. I think that's gonna be really nice. There we go. Okay, let's go find an outfit. Welcome to my bedroom. We're gonna figure out what I'm wearing now. Okay, I'm going with an old classic today, I think. Something that I have worn a million times, but not talked so much about, but I think you've seen this combination many times because right now it's the most comfortable thing that I own that still kind of looks nice. So we're gonna go with vintage pleated skirt. I have this jumper. This is a vintage Italian jumper and the best thing about this is the sleeve. So, I'm gonna put this on too. Then we're gonna do Doc Martens, stockings, and probably some banger accessories. Thick stockings today, it's snowing as all shit. Look at these sleeves, like... First of all, I have my rings. Um, these are standard. I think I wear these every single day. It's a combination of it's a combination of purchases that I've made for myself, which I really, really just adore. And then we have some heirlooms as well. We're gonna need some clip-on earrings as well for this, and a pair of sunglasses. I think we're gonna do these. Really nice. Oh yeah. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you liked it. And I've left links to all the products that I've mentioned down below, including Wild. So hop on in there and check them out. I really, really recommend. Also, please let me know in the comments your favorite eco-friendly beauty product from this year and let's inspire each other. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day and I'll see you guys next time. Take really good care of yourselves. Until then, bye. Thank you so much for watching this video and also a special thank you to my Patreon supporters. You guys helped me create green zero waste contents and I love you guys. You can find the links to my social media accounts down below and the link to my Patreon on this screen. Bye!